We find many patients who come to us with a diagnosis of a low sperm count or poor sperm motility or male factor infertility. And the reality is there's very, very little which we can do for these patients other than do IVF XC. But the problem is that by the time they come to me, we've seen that they've been to so many different doctors, so many of whom have given them a mix and a concoction of all kinds of things. They've been put on vitamins, they've been told to have cold water baths, they've been told to wear loose underwear, they've been subjected to ultrasound scans where they find a varicocele, they've been subjected to varicocele surgery, they've been treated with antioxidants such as CoQ, they've been treated with Fertilem, all kinds of things. The very fact that there are so many treatments itself is a red flag because this means that really no treatment is effective at all. But then why do doctors keep on prescribing stuff which they know is ineffective? Partly because there's so much pressure from patients because when patients spend money on a consultation, they expect the doctor to write a prescription. If you don't write a prescription, this patient is going to get angry with you. And the problem is that when the patient takes the prescription with high hopes and nothing works for three months, the patient gets fed up and goes to a new doctor. The new doctor looks at the old prescription and says, oh, that doctor was an idiot. He didn't write this for you. Let me write this new drug, which is much more expensive. And I'm sure this will work. But guess what? That doesn't work either. So then you go to a third doctor and you go to a fourth doctor who does exactly the same thing. Then you get fed up of Western medicine. Then you go to a Yunani doctor. You go to a homeopath. You go to an Ayurvedic doctor. The results remain exactly the same. But the tragedy is patients have wasted a lot of money. They've lost all confidence in doctors. But what's much worse is they've wasted a lot of time and their wife keeps on getting older so that by the time they're ready to mentally at least consider doing IVF XC, the problem now is no longer with their sperm but the fact that their wife has become so old that the egg quality has declined so much that even the chance of getting pregnant with IVF XC decreases. And this is such a shame because this was completely preventable.